Today's video is sponsored by Sakura.co. Happy Sunday. I'm so excited for today's video. Last week I pulled you guys on Instagram and on my YouTube like community page to see what you guys wanted to learn about the grocery store. And you guys gave me so many great ideas that I, I've got so many grocery store plans. Like I think this is gonna have to become a series. But somebody commented like, what does like a drugstore in Japan look like? And I was like, I have not shown you guys what like the drugstores here look like and they're very different from what I'm used to in the states. So in the states we have drugstores called Rite Aid and CVS and for the most part they're very stale environments. They're not very exciting. There's like snacks inside that's where you can get over the counter things. Things? Over the counter medicines? I don't know what I'm trying to say. You can also go to like a pharmacy that's within the drugstore. Um, yep, I don't have any videos on that from my experiences in the United States because at the time I did not find them to be very interesting. So today we are at a drugstore called Cosmos, but here it's pronounced Kosumosu, and I believe it has something to do with like the Cosmos like in the sky. You know how cute the play on words are. If you guys have any special requests, like I wanna see more of this aisle or this section, leave it in the comments. Do your thing because that's gonna help me know what you guys wanna learn more about. And then of course, if I leave out something that is really cool and you know more about it than I do, let us know, sharing is caring. So anyway, let's go inside Cosmos because I love it in here. Of course, capsule stations with gashapons are in the entrance. So when I was a kid, they were always candy machines, but these are like, novelty collector's items so you put your money in and you can get any of these and they have some over here too these are like a big novelty here in japan that people collect they carry local vegetables and fruit here in the very front section. Yeah, so this is a local vegetable that's grown here that we're famous for. It has our local Iwakuni Bridge there. These are so cool. I've never noticed these before, but they're like eye rinses. It says that it's like a prescription, but I don't exactly know what it's for, and they have like a bunch of them. I do not wear contacts, so I'm so foreign to this like section, but I know some of you guys might wear contacts, so this is what that looks like. I don't really know. It looks like you can buy your contacts here. Contact solution, little holders. AccuView, I feel like I've seen commercials for things like this. It feels like there's, yeah, like it's an entire set. Lots of different green juices and I don't know. I feel like stuff like this to me tastes like grass. <laughs> vitamin C. Vitamin C is like a really big thing here for like targeted towards women. More vitamin C. I have never noticed this before. But this little section is like garlic and black garlic stuff. 
If anybody knows why these are here, let me know because I cannot read this kanji. But I'm very intrigued. Yeah, even more. Fascinating. Sheet masks are really, really popular here in Japan. I really like this one. It's really cool because you open it and when you pull it out, it's the single sheet masks. I don't get these all the time, but when I do, this is the one that I like. And these are also really popular ones. And they're all pretty affordable, so for like seven sheets, it's less than $5. Ooh. Like. This is like a fun one. It's like a little bubble mask. We still have a huge, huge selection of face masks. But I want to draw your attention to these because these are really great. These are like cooling, I don't know that I want to call them pads, but like cooling sheets. So if you're feeling really, really hot, especially during the summertime, these are so great. We have all kinds of stuff to keep cool in the summertime. Actually, I just realized I have an entire video on like how to keep cool in summertime in Japan. So I will link that for you guys if you want to watch it. It covers like all of that stuff. As far as beauty products go, conditioners, like these milky looking toners and conditioners are so popular. I started using one since living here and it's the absolute best. Mine is like a milk egg toner though. Oh, this is a really good brand, by the way. It's made with sake. I like this face mask. They call them packs here. So if you see any of these, you should definitely get them. These always make me laugh. Little ear cleaners. I totally forgot because somebody asked me about foundations and like the colors that they have and the variety and how dark they go. And I wanted to show you they don't have many options for my melanin friends. So this is the darkest color that they have. It's just like four different colors. This is actually picking up a lot darker on camera. Than it is obviously I'm not here to say that they need to have a better variation of skin color options for foundations because it's Japan and it's a very homogeneous society where the majority of the population is fair skin so that's like the demographic and the market that they have but because somebody asked what the color selection is like if you have melanin in your skin you're just really not gonna have good luck finding makeup at the drugstores here. I don't really know if that's different at, um, in like cities or if you do have melanin in your skin, like what, what your options are other than possibly ordering online. Um, I honestly normally order my makeup online from Sephora and international ship it anyway. So I don't normally, um, never normally paid attention to this stuff. different sweets and snacks. This is my favorite aisle to be in for so many obvious reasons. Since we're in the snack aisle, I think this is the perfect opportunity to talk about today's sponsor. We are all avid snack lovers here, so today's video is sponsored by Sakurako, which is one of my all-time favorite Japanese snack boxes. 
Stay tuned because I will have a special promo code for you guys at the end of this ad and in the description. Unlike other Japanese snack box subscription services, this box really focuses on supporting small and local businesses. So a lot of these snacks are going to be artisanal and you would really only get an opportunity to try them in this box or visiting Japan. Every month they do change the theme of their boxes. So you can anticipate getting something different every single month. What else is really cool and unique about this box is that every box comes with tea and some type of houseware. Let's see which one this is. It's one of my favorite little surprises. My very first Sakura Co box, I got a really beautiful tray that was for wagashi and tea serving. And then last month in the strawberry themed box, I got a piece of ceramic pottery. And I don't know any other snack box subscription services that do that. So let's see what's in this one. <gasps> this is so beautiful. I pulled out the Sakura Co booklet. It tells you about all of the different snacks inside. And I just wanted to learn a little bit more about this glass. This is a one of a kind Japanese sake glass made exclusively for Sakura Co. So you can only get your hands on this if you get one of these boxes. And it's adorned with falling cherry blossoms mixed with the luxurious gold accents. Welcome spring and enjoy a refreshing drink. I cannot wait to drink out of this. Now it's time for us to pick a snack. This is always the hardest decision because on camera, I only pick one, but off camera, I will try like all of them and it just like makes my heart so happy. Look how chunky this sweet bread is. This was really catching my eye, this Sakura jelly because it came in a bag and then inside it literally looks like there's flowers in it. So I think that we should be trying this one apple, peach, and kiwi fruits, and it also says that it's vegetarian friendly. Marui Sakura Co exclusive Japanese jelly is filled with cherry blossoms and cherry blossom flavor. Enjoy the flavors of the spring season and the spring treat that is perfect for sharing. This is not gonna be glamorous or the right, right way I'm supposed to do this, but here we are. That's really floral. If this was really cold, which I should be eating it colder and I'm not, this would be extremely refreshing. And cherry blossom flavored stuff has a very unique flavor. So if you've never tried cherry blossom flavored food, snacks, or candies, this would be such a great box for you guys to try. Mm. This month's theme is Sakura afternoon tea, and you can also enjoy a Hanami picnic in the comfort of your own home. Use code ATLAS to get $5 off your first Sakura Co. order through the link in my description. <laughs> is instant coffee, some instant teas, but mostly instant coffee. They always have such a good selection of teas. So if you're green tea drinkers or lovers or matcha, you can actually get really great quality teas here. I do not like instant ones like this. I think that these are not good, <laughs> um, but any of the loose leaf teas are really great. And then they also have a lot of instant miso soups. These are actually really easy to make at home. They have tons of stuff for like salad dressings and sauces, different condiments. Of course, you cannot forget our beloved Kewpie Mayo. It's a staple. You can get your olive oil here, vinegars, all of the essentials. These instant curries are also really, really good. Japanese curry is amazing, but it's also just nice to know you can get packs of this and then just put it on top of rice and it's amazing. Big cold sections, so you can get yogurt and cheese and juice and coffee. 
tea, you name it, you can get this here. It's basically like having a mini grocery store and they even sell, of course, like local milk. So this is from our area. The frozen section is really great too. So you can get different kinds of meats and breaded chickens, salmon, tuna, shrimp, beef patties, and get gyoza. They have frozen vegetables like okra, which I find kind of random. You can get peas, onion, uh, bok choy, mushrooms, green peas, broccoli, asparagus. I can't think of the name of this one. I was not aware that they sold snow crab here, so that's new. And it's like less than 20 bucks. Cool, did not know that. The ice cream section is always my favorite here in Japan. They have like the coolest selection. Ooh, this is like a black bean hazelnut. That looks good. Sweet potato ice cream, black bean. Oh my gosh, I have to get this one. Is this like, it's ice cream that looks like a potato. Okay, you're, you're coming home with me. Mm. We love their haagen -Dazs. I'm gonna get two of their baked cheese tarts. This is our cereal selection. I put quotes because I'm from the States and I'm used to like sugar-coated cereal. Here it's more like granola. So this DHC lip chapstick thing is supposed to be so popular. I tried this. I thought it was garbage. <laughs> anyway, these are some of the hand cream options. This brand Atrix is my favorite especially the honey and yuzu I have one of these in all of my bags they of course have like unscented and peach tea but ooh amber rose that sounds like it smells so good shampoos and conditioners now right away some of you guys might notice that there are bottles and bags this is very common in Japan uh, let me give a better example so you'll have a bottle of something, but instead of throwing it away, they sell refill bags. So you buy the bag and refill the bottle. So you're gonna see that as a trend pretty much on every aisle now. Um, I really like that. Here's a soap. So you buy this and then you buy the refill. I guess it's to save on plastic but this is still plastic and so is this <laughs> if they sold these in glass that would like make my life one thing you will pretty much hear all foreigners complain about is the deodorant selection you'll notice it's a lot of sprays lots and lots of sprays they are in my opinion horrible so i order my deodorant online and if you guys live in Japan, you know exactly what I'm talking about. In case you need to fix a little ingrown toe action, it's like braces for your toenails. So you'll start like that, and then you'll put this on, and it relieves any pain and stress. It's a little less than $14. This whole section is like feet and pain and legs. These are nice little relaxing detox foot masks. These are amazing, but they'll have your feet peeling for days on end like a snake. They do have a hair coloring section, but you can probably tell that most of the colors are all darker. We've got one with a little bit of red, little red tint to it. I don't see anything 
for bleaching. I'm trying to see if I can find something with like color or bleach. Well, they have this. It's a bonding bleach. These Fab Artist colors look nice. We've got some different colors up here, but I think these are honestly like the lightest colors that I see. These are cute for travel. Powder face washes. I hate the individual packaging, but I get the vibe. This is the best oil cleanser. There's no scent to it, so if you see this, you should get it. Different body soaps for the shower. Toothpaste here is <laughs> a journey. Um, if I could recommend ordering toothpaste online, I would. Absolutely. Here's a men's section. Different types of hair care, facial care, hair gel, cologne, shampoo, conditioner, and styling products, although I don't really know what all of them are for. Baby products like diapers, and this looks like formula and different baby food. I honestly have no idea. This is Japanese simmered pork and root vegetables with egg for bowls. And then right next to the baby products, we have light bulbs <laughs> and electronics. <laughs> Somebody requested feminine hygiene products and I don't know technically like what feminine hygiene products you meant specifically, but this behind me is mostly pads. Um, they do have tampons. They're like the small, small little tampons, which I actually, don't mind like I like the ones without the plastic inserts <laughs> um, but this is what they look like the packaging is super cute but it just really depends on what your preference is because women are different and what they like and what they don't like and what they have access to they also sell sanitary shorts which have like extra liners in them which I think is pretty great and these are all selling for like under six dollars but like briefs sanitary bottoms soap and then just for pricing comparison there's 32 in here and the price is like less than seven dollars tampon section is literally like this row this row and like right here otherwise it's all pads so these are all panty liners and pads um, for women's hygiene, so I hope that I was able to answer the request that was given to me. And if not, and you have other questions, let me know because we can like deep dive into this a little more if you want. This is the toilet paper section and maybe an unpopular opinion, but my favorite thing is that they have a lot of scented toilet papers. These ones also have soccer prints on them so a lot of their toilet papers will be holiday themed so Christmas you can find Christmas themed ones these ones are all floral and I know some people are gonna say like oh my gosh doesn't that harm the cupcake no because the scent is in the actual cardboard roll not the paper so your cupcake is gonna be fine and I definitely feel like toilet paper here is very affordable compared to the states. Um, like for example, I don't know, this flower pack has eight rolls of toilet paper and it's less than seven dollars. I'm pretty sure that's reasonable. I don't know, you, you guys let me know. This is 
saw pretty much bug repellent and cleaning supplies for the house. Things to take care of rodents like mice, for example. And here's the pet food section. Lots of cat food, cat snacks, dog food section. They have some of the bigger ones at the bottom. Um, we actually order all of our dog's food online because we just can't really find uh, what we need for our dog because he's big. But this is the dog food. Cat snacks. I don't really know anything about cats, so apologies. I've never noticed this before, but they have all these little fish treats with all of the dog snacks. I think my dog would actually really, really like these. That's so cool. This big bag is less than $3. And you've probably noticed again, we've got the plastic bottle and then the refill bottles. The drink section here is really big as well. Oh, what is this? It comes with a towel or a fan. What is this? That's pretty cool. So it's like a case of beer. This is really good gin right here. You like this one? And then if you are in a splurging mood, one of these is also really good. I love the little sake cups. They're so cute. Little individual servings. Otherwise, this is sake beautiful bottles this one's local to our area oh so is this one which is pretty cool this is the wine section and a lot of these are imported i remember when i saw yellowtail for the first time i thought it was so funny i drank this in college this section is what i would call like school supplies but what I think is so cool is that they actually have calligraphy sets here. So these are the brushes, and then this is the ink that you would use. You can also buy rice. So they just have like big bags of rice here. It is literally dark outside now, so I'm gonna end the video here. As you could see, there was no pharmacy, but there is a lot of over-the-counter medicines, and it's really just like a little grocery store. So that's kind of like what the equivalent of a drugstore here is for us. And yeah, you can literally get anything you need and want. So with that being said, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!